morning guys welcome back to my channel good boy welcome back to a brand new video today I thought I would just pick up the camera and film really I've got a couple of exciting things planned which I thought you may enjoy coming along with me for the ride we went for a lovely long walk this morning and um yeah sun's out today it seems like a pretty good day so on today's agenda I got up, had a nice long walk, had a shower, washed my hair, and um, I'm, and that's my phone. And I'm also seeing my parents today. I think we're gonna go for a nice, sorry about that, ASMR of dog drinking water. So anyway, as I was saying, I think I'm gonna see my parents today, go out for a nice lunch somewhere, may go into Nutsford maybe. I know my mum is quite keen to see Neptune, so we might pop in there. Um, and then I've also, I've just looked in the viewfinder, I'm yet to do my lips. <laughs> um, and then I'm also, I've got an appointment later on today, oh sorry Barney, um, with Charlotte Tilbury in town. So I'll bring you along with me to that. I think it's in launch of something, like new Pillow Talk products or something. So that's exciting stuff. And then at chill tonight, Tom's playing cricket, so he's out all day. I do have, I've just had a delivery actually, so let me go grab these boxes. I've got two, you may recognize this sea of pink. This lovely, welcoming pink that comes into my house probably every month, maybe even more often than that. And then we've got this big box here as well. I am so pleased to say that this part of today's video is in collaboration with Cherries. If you don't already know, if you're not a regular viewer of my channel, because if you are, you'll know about Cherries because I talk about them all the time. Essentially an online website or app. I personally shop via the app whereby you can get all your household essentials, loads of bits across pet, obviously, kids, stationery, homeware, food, all sorts. It allows you to shop all of those bargain homeware goodies from the comfort of your very own home without need to trawl through the shops. If you tend to be more of an online shopper then Cherries is for you. I do have some discount codes, let me share them with you. If you use the discount code F 25 and you are a new customer you will get 25% off your first order alternatively if you're already a lover of cherries and you are an existing user then you can simply use the code FF for free shipping off your next order that is only valid until the 1st of June though so be quick I will leave a link to cherries down below along with those discount codes and I'm going to share with you all of the goodies that I bought now I've got a load of new products like I said my mum's coming over today I'm going to see her so I may be have quite a few homeware bits that she can choose from. I've ordered loads of their new in bits this time just to share them with you, even if I've not got them for myself, but maybe giving them to friends and family. I just wanted to show you a range of brand new products that they've got on their website that looked lovely. So first things first, they now have incense. We do have an incense burner on the top floor and in our bedroom. This does actually come with an incense holder as well though. So it comes with this lovely wooden one you pop the incense in this end here and it just burns down the tray so we have a brand new incense burner for another room and then obviously you get your 30 incense sticks in there this is in the scent sandalwood i also picked up some storage containers for food prep microwave safe freeze safe dishwasher safe all this cute little notebook they actually had a couple of different designs this one just says i woke up like this good little handbag size actually this is one of our faves we've actually already got this one left over from last time we've got a tiny little bit left in there i swear to god tom could go through an entire bag in one sitting of these so every time i think oh i fancy some of that cereal and then i'm like 
tom where's the cereal i had it last night but it was a full bag <laughs> i also got some milky bars and then you guys know i'm a big fan of the ritter sports and now this one is the cornflakes one some 12 bites all the yummy snacks i got another stock up of my provoke touch of silver purple shampoo i use this every single time i used it this morning i only wash my hair i'd say twice a week so i just use a purple shampoo every single time and then i also got this i should have used it today actually never mind keratin heat spray from schwarzkopf see they have some amazing brands to to look out for i also bought this it's like a handy kitchen caddy it's under sink cover type thing that you can just pop like that and then by the sink if you're like chopping veggies vegetables or peeling whatever you can just pop it in this little kitchen handy caddy thought that was quite good i got a mini of one of my favorites for going away soon we are going to milan and this is my favorite 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 budget moisturizer from nivea it's the nivea soft cream it's for face body and hands and i thought this little 30 ml no 50 ml pot would be perfect because we've only got hand luggage and we're only going for a couple of nights so that's for that and then i also got some tuna chunks i always get it in spring water because quite often if i have tuna barney gets some as well and then as well as these food containers i got these smaller ones as well i got some shavers tis the season i feel like hay fever is in the air so i got some uh, allergy tablets and i also got some ritz crackers again another favor bar they have crust products in the pet section this is a grooming and de-shedding glove so i thought it'd be quite handy for barney he's going through a seasonal shed at the minute so it's a little bit chaotic i do need to give the place a quick hoover after after i do this i need to put a bed wash on as well oh i've got so much to do today i did also get a stock up of some new baking trays and tins i have pretty much used this up this morning this is the astonished daily shower shine in hibiscus blossom it's one of those spray and leave so you don't need to wipe it down rinse it off or anything you literally just after your shower spritz it everywhere makes the bathroom smell amazing and does all the cleaning work for you okay they've got a baby section i'm not gonna lie i saw this on the new in because i don't have a baby so i don't tend to shop on the baby section it's this cute little gray bunny and barney has a thing about soft toys like this he doesn't destroy them even though he could easily destroy this this is one of the items that i spotted and i thought would look lovely in a bedroom or a bathroom it is a tray with this glass ribbed kind of design is mirrored on the bottom as well and it's got a gold rim and i just think that looks so chic so nice there was something else that i got similar to that is it going to be this one everything's individually wrapped nice yeah it is this one so this i thought would look good as a little matching coward duo type thing what i thought would look nice would be the tray with maybe a couple maybe three because i quite like odd numbers three of my joe malone perfumes because they are kind of like gold and glass as well and then this next to it which is a little glass lidded kind of trinket dish it's mirrored on the bottom again because it's got the lid you can protect some like jewelry or little trinkets and knickknacks in there oh yeah this is a candle so this is in the scent sandalwood actually so it will go quite nicely with this one okay next up i have this which screams i'm gonna say white company juice this is, a, it was in the outdoor section, I believe, but obviously you can have it indoors if you want to, but it's just a little hanging lantern in this seagrass kind of rattan woven texture, which like I said, just reminds me of like something that would be on the white company. Okay, there we go. The inner part is glass. So you can use it as a planter, pop a little outdoor plant in there have it hanging somewhere or i thought it'd be quite nice with a little candle in there little tea lights and if you had several of them like if you've got a nice outdoor space in the summer months you know for outdoor dining having as you're leading into the evening like if you're having a nice barbecue or something these could be nice sat out or you could just tuck that string in and have it set on the floor as a little lantern as well sticking with the whole white company dupe seagrass rattan accessories home accessories i picked up this four pack of coasters again for outdoor dining i feel like these would be really nice sass and bell these are from i love the brand sass and bell for the fact that cherries now stock it keep your eyes peeled for that then i picked 
picked up this, which is a reed diffuser in this gorgeous, kind of creamy grey and white colour. It was the scent that intrigued me. Pomegranate and spruce. Next up, I stocked up on some hair accessories. I needed some more of these um, bobbles, the blonde ones. So I got them, and then I always find these clips really handy. Oh, what have we got in here? I think this is salad, salad hands. Yeah. So this, again, I saw that these were from Sass and Bell. Love Sass and Bell. Bamboo hand salad servers. They are exactly as they say, little hands out. I actually don't need these, I'm gonna give these to someone, but, um, cause I've already got salad servers. But how cute are they? I've got some essentials, again, cherries for essentials, especially things like toilet roll and kitchen roll, I quite often get from cherries, cause it's like big bulkier items that you don't wanna have to carry. These are my favorite glass and window cleaning cloths from Minky, so I picked up another one of them. I'm actually gonna pop that one upstairs on the top floor, I think. Again, essentials, some cotton pads, another homeware item. Ooh, this is very exciting. Yet another white company dupe. These cute little heart-shaped server bowls, dipper bowls, you could pop a little guacamole in there, little dips, so you could put olives and nuts and just have it as like a share thing. You could use it as a little tea light holder. Okay, this one is actually from the brand Heart of the Home. It's a marble chopping board, and I just, I so weighty. This is solid marble. It's got a little jute hanger, and again, that kind of rustic wooden bottom that I love. It would be really nice, I think, this one as a little display cheese board. What do you guys think? It's like Christmas, like presents within presents. This is a little wicker basket that they've got. I noticed that they had little hearts, and obviously you could just take the little heart off, but it's just a little wooden heart that hangs on the side, which I think, or the front, I suppose you should say. You could even label them up, actually. Oh, another Sass and Bell item. Oh, yeah. See, I thought this was actually going to be matching to the Rediffuser that I got. It's very similar. It's not the same brand at all. So that's why I thought the Rediffuser might be from Sass and Bell, but this one is. It is a little kind of bud vase, which is so adorable. This is the large one. How cute are they side by side? Oh, no, I can't get into this one. Oh, it's another Sass and Bell. Let me get in knife oh yeah i remember now this was a little three set of bud 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 vases that they do i went for a bottle green kind of color because again you guys know i'm loving green at the minute and little pops of green like this i love that's the first shape this is the second and then that's the third one so they look quite nice as a little trio together i think but anyway that is everything that i picked up i keep eyeing up this cereal oh, i did have a greg's this morning greg's i always get one of the bacon and cheese wraps i need to strip the bed get on with some cleaning put all these bits away and then i'll um chat to you guys probably at lunch I just wanted to show you actually before I strip the bed how good this, um, especially if you struggle with this, because we seem to, with duvet covers kind of losing their place, well the duvet losing their place within the duvet cover, these ones from Magic Linen are really good because they have these little ties on the corner that when you pop the bedding on you can just tie a little bow around the corner of the duvet and it just doesn't budge which is great because there's nothing more annoying when one of you has like duvet cover with no duvet in it and the other one has too much duvet um but yeah the actual duvet that we've got is from the actual duvet that we have is from zara home it's really nice because it's nice and lightweight keeps you cool in summer and warm in winter but yeah magic linen i've got quite a lot of dusk bedding that i love as well but these are genius i really wish every every bedding had this
So I'm counting all the days till you'll come around to show me what you found. Since breaking from his misery, wish that you could see me. park full although to be fair this one does move pretty quickly so i'm just gonna i'm gonna wait i'm a little bit early for my i don't know if it's an appointment or an event with charlotte tilbury we will soon find out and this is not the best item to be sharing with you but i do have the iconic nude lip liner on and the flawless filter on today as well so um, oh, and also Eyes to Mesmerize is the eyeshadow palette that I've used. Although I've barely put on any makeup because I don't know if we're going to be doing testing, samples, or anything like that. So I kind of did minimal makeup just in case we add to it. So yeah, I'm excited. I think it's in launch of the new sort of Pillow Talk range that they've brought out. I think they've brought out some more products with the. I think that's right. I could be completely making that up. So. I'm not going to quote that just yet until we get in there and find out what what it's all about. See, there's two cars coming out already, so it should move fairly quickly. Oh, and the lights have come on. Cut to like literally two seconds later. I'm at the traffic centre. I was at the wrong um, Charlotte Tilbury, which I'll fill you in on later because I did specifically ask and they did say city centre. Turns out ugh, it's not. If you buy two products from Charlotte Tilbury, you can get the chance to win something in here. You've got to pick up one of the foil items. Are ready? Oh, it's lovely. <laughs> I'm back home. We've got some goodies to share with you. I've, in fact, let me just pop you down here for a sec. So, I am back home after a lovely day, a really wholesome day with the walk this morning, seeing my mum and dad going for a nice lovely lunch, shopping at Neptune, of which I've managed to get some bits. However, the palaver this afternoon with Charlotte Tilbury, if you didn't understand what I was saying, essentially, they stipulated on the invitation that they were hosting something at Selfridges. Now, if you're Manchester based, you know that we have two. We have the traffic centre and the city centre. So I did email a few days back just saying, oh, which, you know, which Selfridges is it? Because it has happened in the past, quite a long time ago now, with a different brand before where they messed up and it was the wrong one that they told us. So I always clarify, they said it was city centre turn up at city center it wasn't at city center it was the Trafford center so anyway crisis averted i drove straight over to Trafford center it was in celebration or in launch of a new kind of pillow talk range and also the fact that they have this big ball that you can enter i don't know if it's still on by the time you're watching this video though but essentially if you buy a couple of products at the charlotte tilbury counter in selfridges you can head over to the ball enter it they blow up all these tickets and then you can catch one and color coordinate what prize you get so it's usually like either a sample of like a mini lipstick or 
magic cream or you can get a full range of products if you got like the red ticket um but anyway that's what it was in celebration of so they did actually very kindly gift me a bag of the new goodies so i'm going to share it with you what i got and then i also got home to a little parcel from i think it's from yeah it's from l'oreal so we'll open that too just gonna switch out the battery though because that's flashing at me time to change the battery oh and I'm in my pajamas. So we're back on brand new battery. Yes, I am in my Primark pajamas. These are like the white company style pajamas. That these ones are actually comfier than my white company ones, just purely on sizing. My white company are the smalls. These are, I think, a medium, 12 to 14, so they're comfier. First thing I always do when I get home, I'm going to take off my makeup after this as well. It's usually hair up, comfies on. But I'm justifying pyjamas with it being nearly 7 o'clock. And makeup off. So I am going to take off my makeup in a second. But I thought I would share with you the bits that I did get today. Let's start with the makeup. Charlotte Tilbury. This is, I mean, a bag full of products. But the, I think the new products in particular are these two. So they are like a blush highlight kind of, is it these two? I think it's these two in dream light and romance light two different kind of what do they call them the beautifying all over glow highlighter so not the blush oh look at the packaging i didn't even see the top of that in store today that is so pretty and can you see the pillow talk embossed on it so that's why it's kind of like called pillow talk but these shades are named different so yeah that is one let me compare that one with the romance light okay this one's more me i prefer this color personally i just i am that tired that i completely said the opposite of what i meant the other one is more me this one that i've just opened is less me <laughs> i'm clearly tired clearly need to just sit back, relax, put my feet up on the sofa, and I've started watching the Married at First Sight Australia. I'm only a few episodes in, they've all kind of got married and they're on the honeymoon honeymoon phase, so there's quite a lot of episodes to catch up on. But um, yeah, sidetrack on to Married at First Sight Australia. Let's get back to the blush talk. So anyway, the one that is far more me is this one, the Dream Light. I just feel like that kind of bronzy tone and like warmer golds. Is more me although i am quite pale at the minute so i will try them both out and see see what i think but if i was buying that in store side by side that's the one that i would go for and then another palette in here this is the pillow talk dreams palette so this one is a, a little quad really pretty colors they're quite um purpley based which i feel like is suited to blue eyes they do say that purples work quite well i mean they're clearly not purple but they've just got a slightly i would say pinkier undertone to these which i think the pillow talk range does have a lot of like their lip liner which they've also included the lip cheat they call them this is in pillow talk i do have pillow talk but my favorite one is actually the iconic nude this one is much more of a pinkier shade to iconic nude still lovely though really really nice there is push-up lashes new pillow talk mascara i think they said that was a new product as well or a reformulation or a new brush or something but i'm pretty sure they said the mascara was new and then the color popping oh no color morphing read that word completely wrong eyeshadow pencil in pillow talk i've no i don't think i've ever tried one of these before and i do usually like these kind of a product oh that's so pretty can you see the shimmer on that really really nice and it's super creamy as well really easy to pop on it there was one other product where have i put it oh sat on it <laughs> it is the pillow talk matte modern matte long lasting lipstick in pillow talk i am the sort of person that does tend to just go for a lip liner though with a balm over the top um because i do find that lipsticks can be a bit drying However, I have liked these ones in the past. So it is a slightly lighter shade to the liner. So a perfect complementing colour. But yeah, it's a very rose, purpley, pinky, romantic based range. L'Oreal 
didn't know this was coming, so I don't know what this is. A new moisturizing take on a matte lip. So we've got four matte lipsticks. So these are all the different shades we've got. 108, looks like a really nice summer red. Again, a kind of a dusky rose, 482. Have they got names? No. Oh yeah, they have. La Rose, La Mauve, La Nude, that's a bit of me. Nude shades I always gravitate towards, 602. And then 336, Le Rouge. Nice. So thanks to L'Oreal for sending me those bits. And then last but not least, Neji. So I have a big hurricane vase of which I bought two options of candles for. I've tried it though. This one is the one that fits in that hurricane vase that I'm particularly I have in my mind. However, the smaller one I will find and fit somewhere else. Now this is the largest one. So I do think it's the most expensive at about 14 pounds. My mom was telling me as well, when we used to live, sorry, this is really noisy. When we used to live near the Swindon sort of outlet, Neptune outlet that they have, which is a much bigger store than the Nutsford one. And also they have everything heavily reduced. You could get candles like this for like two to four pounds. Ridiculous. But anyway, this one is, I think this one's 14. This is the largest they have. But what I like about the Neptune pillar candles is they're quite nice if you predominantly use a candle in a vase as a decorative purpose rather than a practical purpose because they've got the Neptune border around the bottom, which obviously you can take off. But, you know... I like the fact that you can see it's from Neptune, I'm not gonna lie. So I've got the big one and then I also got in comparison, I'll keep the other one wrapped up, but you can see it's the same height, it's just the thinner size. And then I also got, oh, if I can get it open, a new product to add to my cleaning cupboard slash cleaning station down in the kitchen. This is the washing up liquid. I didn't pick this up last time. Last time I went in, I got the rosemary and thyme laundry detergent and fabric conditioner and the smell of it is incredible. I use it on like, not every wash, I'm not gonna lie. I use it on like special washes, but I guess I could start using it a little bit more and then I can always just keep the jars and just refill them um, or just buy fresh again. Or I wonder if they do refills actually. Let me know if you know if they do. But anyway, this is the washing up liquid. So yes, again, a really nice amber glass bottle that you can have out on your counter, on display. It smells amazing. They've got soaps, hand soaps. They've got um, also hand sanitizers in this range. They've got a few different scents. The English fig one is nice as well. And then last but not least, I got another of my favorite mug. I've actually just had a coffee in my other one of these and I figured I'm gonna get a set because I do quite like the idea of having pairs especially of favorite mugs so on a Sunday morning if I make us a coffee let the dog out all come up for cuddles in bed and have a lazy slow morning I like to bring up matching cups and this is always my favorite go-to cup so we've got a matching set now and even if we're not doing a little matchy matchy coffee morning then when one's in the dishwasher the other one's ready to go. So I've always got my favorite mug. Eight pounds that these ones are. This is from the range, the Bosley range. So yeah, that is everything that I got. That was my fun little adventure today. I hope you enjoyed coming with me. I am going to take off all my makeup. So I figured I might as well just prop you up and chat to you guys whilst I do that. We are getting shutters fitted in the bedroom on Wednesday, I think. Or well, it might be a bit echoey in here. Sorry if it is. Let me get my little tripod because there's nowhere really to prop you up in there. That's the only thing. That's why I don't tend to film in my bathroom very often. So I have like a bit of a different kind of skincare routine whereby some days I'll go in with a little bit of extra. Some days I'll strip it back and do less. I feel like I might just show you my real basic, bare minimum skincare routine for when my skin's playing up, if I am having hormonal breakouts or dry patches or whatever, sometimes I feel like it's best to just strip it back, use less products and just let your skin breathe and just be natural. So when I do do that, I tend to go in with, am I going to say three products? 
three or four maybe. So I go in with a micellar water to remain to, to remove the main bulk of makeup. The one that I've just got on the go currently is this one from Garnier. It's the oil infused cleansing water for dry and sensitive skin. So again, the reason why I picked this one up was because I was finding myself, my, my skin was getting a little bit sensitive. I don't know if it's doing the house up with the dust, hay fever potentially, it was getting a bit dry. So I thought I would try this one out and I have been loving it. Whether or not I prefer it to the original, I don't know, but it's nice for now. If it's on offer in the future, I'll get it. If not, I'll probably just stick to the original. So I go in with that with a couple of uh, cotton pads. And then, depending on it, how my skin is, if it's really bad, I'll skip this step. Otherwise, I'll go in with a toner. This is my favorite, the Pixi Glow Tonic. It's even got my name on it, <laughs> phrase Glow Tonic. And then a moisturizer. So that is it. Remove my makeup and cleanse, tone, moisturize, simple. When my skin's fine, obviously I go in with extra oils and serums and face masks sometimes as well, which is quite nice, or like a more of a deep cleanse and exfoliate. But this is just like the bare minimum and what I love doing. So I, I've actually got a bit more of this one to use up. So I'm gonna go in with my Kegels, but if you're on a budget, I really don't know the difference, to be completely honest. This one has a real like clean, fresh smell. So I feel like it's a bit more perfumed. It might be maybe not as good for your skin. I don't know, mind you, sometimes when I use this though, it's just nice and it always works for my skin. But anyway, it's got jojoba oil and vitamin E and it's a soft range. Or this is a good one for me, the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. They've got a whole ultra facial range, but this is the one that I like. So I'm gonna use that one. So I'm gonna clip my hair back first and foremost, get it off my face. This one needs a good shake up, this missile of water. And then I just saturate both. God, this is turning into like a real in-depth skincare routine. Let me just uh, speed up and show you the process. I'm looking out from my window Sun's coming up like the day before You're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut the door Bedroom. I look a bit red eyed, but that's literally just because I've scrubbed my eyes, taken my makeup off. I always just pop on some Carmex on my lips as well. I always find this super hydrating, but your lips don't become dependent on it, which is really nice. I feel like Vaseline, apparently, your lips do become dependent on it. So, I do that, take off all my jewelry. God, this is just such a lovely evening to be able to relax and wind and it's still light outside. I mean, it's, you know, I'm not venturing out anywhere for the rest of the day, but it's quite nice to be able to get comfy and get cozy and it's still really light outside. Anyway, that is my little mini evening skincare routine, especially when I'm stripping it back and doing the bare minimum. But I hope you have enjoyed watching today's video. Thank you so much to Cherries for very kindly working with me and partnering with me on today's video. Don't forget to take note of those discount codes. Again, I will leave them on screen and in the description box. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for them for sponsoring and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.